Hey guys, so Troll and Toad is one of the longest Magic the Gathering online and physical vendors of the game. Uh, they are backing off from singles and sealed product as of January 1st, 2024, after a almost 30 year run selling the line. That is crazy. They began uh, selling Magic the Gathering in 1994 as one of the largest, first large scale of buyers and sellers. So if you have ever done the buy list, you know Troll and Toad is one of the buy lists you would look at in terms of determining how much money you can sell a card for. When they were asked why they're getting out of Magic the Gathering, uh, they said Magic is not profitable enough for our company to continue carrying right now. Sometimes it feels like I'm only stocking Magic product because I love this game so much. And that's basically Magic the Gathering in a nutshell for us older players. So don't give in to the Rudy investment hype. Um, he's always going to hype this to the moon. But uh, if Tron told one of the OGs and a huge, huge vendor um, is getting out of Magic because they don't think they can make money from it, and honestly, I mean, it hits home. It, it should hit a lot of vendors home. Just the statement, magic is not profitable enough for our company to continue carrying it right now. Sometimes it feels like I'm only stocking magic product because I love this game so much. That should really hit home for you. Uh, it hit home for me. Sometimes when I owned a store, I kind of wondered, why am I doing this? This doesn't make any sense. Clearly, this is a product that people don't really want to pay a premium on. And yet, I continue to stock it out of loyalty to something that no longer exists. Um, the idea that you can continue to buy this product, sit on the product, um, is maybe five years or even ten years ago, it was a better idea than it is today. Um, a lot of these products just are not going to make it. Um, and I say this with you know, an honest honest um you, you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say hey i am going to be honest for it right this is not going to work out for a store uh, if something as big as trone toad cannot sustain itself or think that this is a viable product then what are the chances that a small local game store with much worse margins with less distribution benefits if you will right uh trone toad has really great distribution numbers um from buying boxes and so on at, at volume at volume then what are the chances that you a uh, very tiny magic store can can do this uh and and this is my concern is people are spinning this to be like oh this is a great thing uh it's not um even as a competitor, you never want to see one of your competitors get out of the space because that might mean that you don't have enough customers, right? Um, and I, I can take it from my own experience, and I'll just throw this out there. When there's a lot of stores around you and they're, they're all selling Funko Pops and kind of similar things, uh, that's actually not a bad thing. You just have to do better than those stores and you can get the customers because that indicates that there are customers out there. Otherwise, these stores would not exist because there's no money in it. Now, uh, one thing that I want to um, make clear, very clear, is that when you do have um, a store bankrupt, it's not... I mean, it's, yes, it's your competitor, but you do have to also look at what's going on and why it bankrupt. And is there something fundamentally wrong with this business model which allows other stores to bankrupt um, or allows stores like this to bankrupt? That's something that would be very concerning, especially if the store that does step away from Magic or whatever product it is, is a larger store. And you would expect that larger store with the history with it has 30 plus years with 30 years almost with magic to want to continue to carry the product. Um, there's got to be some reason it is not carrying the product. Uh, if it's financial, then you have to be like, whoa, so if this store cannot make it work. And it's a bigger store as better numbers, better margins, better sales and a better history than my store. Um, where exactly my, is my store today? I, you know, can I carry this product? And the answer, maybe no.
uh, the, it's something that, like, it's very, like, it hits home when he says, like, I'm only carrying it out of loyalty to the brand that no longer exists. Yep. Yeah. 